Hey there, swim fans. Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, we're going to answer the question, how often should you swim? This is a question that we get all the time at MySwimPro. And we're going to answer it by talking about the different variables that impact this answer. We're also going to talk about a few different weekly workout regimens so that if you swim one time per week, two times per week, three times per week, or four times per week or more, you can figure out how to vary your training so that it's optimized for your performance. We also have a few great example workouts that you can fit into this weekly workout structure. We have a speed workout, endurance workout, and stroke IM workout. But first, let's talk about the different variables that impact answering the question how often should you swim per week? Now, the first one is your goal. What is your swimming goal? Are you swimming for fitness? Are you training for a triathlon? Or are you trying to break the next world record? Your goal will directly impact how often you should swim. Next, how much time do you have to train? Do you have two hours per week? Or do you have 20 hours per week? Because obviously if you have 20 hours per week, you'll most likely swim every single day. If you only have two hours per week, it gets a lot more interesting. And we do actually have an example. If you take nothing away from this video, if you only have two hours per week, is it better to swim one two hour session or to split that up four 30 minute sessions? Obviously, everyone's going to have a different schedule, but if you could optimize for one scenario, it's better to do three 40 minute workouts per week rather than doing one two hour workout, even if you can swim say 5,000 meters. It's better to do three 40 minute workouts where you can do 1,500 to 2,000 meters in a single session than to do a single workout. Now why? Why is that the best scenario possible? Now obviously it would be beneficial if you could swim that much time, two hours every single day, but we're only talking about two hours per week and it comes down to the feel of the water. And the feel of the water is something that's hard to describe, but a swimmer who swims regularly can explain it as it's that optimal feeling that you have where you have a connection with the water and you don't feel like you're starting over every single time. If you swim only once per week, you feel like you're starting over. Even twice per week, it can feel like you start over if you go more than four days in a row without touching the water. And this is something that's unique to swimming. You feel it in other types of working out, but you really feel it in swimming where you lose that connection with the water. And the minimum time to do this in any kind of workout is actually twice per week. As soon as you go from one time per week to two times per week, you all of a sudden have this great significant lift in your feel of the water and your workouts become much more consistent. And that is really the goal that we're going for when it comes to how often should you swim? Answer the question with what is going to give you the most consistency to develop both physiologically and mentally in the water. And that's at least two times per week. So if you only have two hours per week, you can split that into two one hour sessions, or if you can get to the pool three times, three 40 minute workouts, anywhere from 1500 to 2000 meters will be significantly more beneficial than doing one workout that's two hours, that's 5000 meters. So that answers the question based on time. Now what about your history? History is the third variable. Have you been training 10 hours per week on average for the last six months? Have you been training 30 hours per week? Maybe you haven't trained at all, it's been zero. So obviously going from zero to 10 hours per week might be a little bit much, so you wanna ramp up slowly over time. Typically the rule of thumb is to not increase more than 10% per week in volume and even time. So if you only train, if you train 10 hours per week, you should really only go to 11 or 12 hours in the following week and add one subsequent hour per week. If you're only training two hours per week, you should really only train two and a half hours per week the next week and maybe three hours, then four hours. So gradually increase your training volume and finally consider other training that you're doing outside of the water. So that means dry land training, maybe you're in the weight room, yoga, CrossFit, anything Pilates, anything that you're doing out of the water is a factor to consider because any kind of working out is great, but you want to optimize for swimming. So you have to be aware of how much you're doing out of the water. And these four variables, your goals, your time, your history, and the other training that you're doing help you answer the question, how often should you swim? Now there is no set in stone answer. It really comes down to your specific circumstances and how often you can swim to reach your goals. So let's say you can only swim one time per week. What do you focus on in that one session per week? 
So you focus on technique and endurance. There really isn't much else you can focus on because you're only swimming one time per week. So if you were to structure a workout, you can really only focus on one thing. And I recommend you focus on technique because ideally you will go from one time per week to more than one time per week in the future. And by focusing on your technique, you will always be refining your stroke and improving. If you can swim two times per week, a represents day one, B represents day two. On day one, I recommend you focus on freestyle. That could be endurance, it could be a little bit of speed, you could change it every single week. On day one, focus on some kind of freestyle swimming. And then on day two, focus on IM or stroke. And you can alternate that. One week you can do two workouts freestyle, another week you can do two workouts IM, and that will develop your endurance and your speed and set you up well when you're doing two times per week. Remember the golden rule, swimming two times per week to develop that feel of the water. If you're swimming three times per week, which is great, now you can start to add a little bit more variety in the types of workouts you're doing in your weekly plan. Day one, you can do endurance. Day two, you can do IM or stroke. And day three, you can do speed. This is really exciting when you go three times per week, you can start to have variation within the week and then you can alternate that week after week. So week two, you might mix it around and you might go speed, endurance, IM. Very exciting. When you get to four times per week, you're really starting to refine that feel of the water and you have to balance fatigue because if you're swimming almost every single day or if it's every other day, you might feel residual effects from the last workout that you did. When you swim four times per week, I recommend going on day one, you focus on technique and even do some kicking. Day two, you focus on endurance. That could be endurance in freestyle, stroke, or I am. On day three, you focus specifically on stroke or I am, I am being individual medley. And on the fourth day, you focus on speed. Week one could be speed on freestyle. Week two could be speed for I am, and then you could have speed kick even. And when you get to six times per week, you're really training at a higher level right now. If you're swimming, if you're in the water almost every single day, you can go through two cycles of what three times per week is and really hit all the different energy systems and strokes all in the same week. And it depends on your seasonal planning, what your goal is and what you're really training towards. So if we look at a six time per week swimming workout regimen, on day one, we're doing endurance, most likely freestyle. On day two, we're doing IM. On day three, we're focusing on power. On day four, we're focusing on stroke. And on day five, that could be Friday, we're focusing on technique. And day six, maybe it's Saturday, you're focusing on speed. So you can work through all the different energy zones and based on the time of the season, you can increase or decrease the duration of whether it's endurance or it's speed. So these are a few different scenarios of how many times per week you can train. Let's look at an actual workout and see different examples of how you can fit these workouts, whether it's speed, endurance, stroke, or I am into the weekly plan. And if you really like these workouts or that structure, check them out in the blog in the link of this video, you can read all about the different energy zones and workouts more specifically. But in this video, we're gonna do a high level overview. So let's look at the speed workout. So we have four 100s freestyle followed by 450s kick. Next we have the main set where you're gonna go three rounds of 450s freestyle, descend one through four, followed by one 100 freestyle fast. You're gonna swim fast, it's a race. You're gonna go three rounds of that and you're gonna go 650s cool down. That's 1,800 meters, and it'll take you about 45 minutes to complete. All of these three workouts will take you 45 minutes to complete. Remember, we're short on time. We're trying to be as efficient as possible. Workout number two is focused on endurance. It's a 400 freestyle followed by three 100s IM to mix in a little bit of stroke, feel of the water, variability. Now the main set is endurance. Five 100s freestyle on a short rest, endurance threshold interval, followed by a 200 pull best average. So you're gonna pick up your tempo and pace on that 200 pull. You're gonna go two rounds of that, five 100s and then a 200 pull. You're gonna do 200 cool down and that'll put you at 2300 meters again in 45 minutes. Now the third workout is focused on stroke and IM. You're gonna go a 300 freestyle followed by a 650s kick that's your warm up. Now the main set is only one round. Good thing because it's a long one. You're gonna go 200 IM, set up all your strokes. You're gonna go 450s IM order, 50 fly, 50 back, 50 breast, 50 free. You're gonna follow that up with three 100s IM at threshold. And then you're gonna go four more 50s IM 
at a slightly faster pace than you did the first 450s, and then you're gonna go a 100 IM fast. So in this IM set, you're gonna go through all the strokes, fly back breaths free, and you're gonna finish off with 450s freestyle, cool down nice and easy. That'll be 1800 meters. And again, all three of these workouts will take you 45 minutes to complete. In actuality, if you only have two hours per week to train, you can do each of these workouts in that two hour period, spread out over three sessions in one week. That is really the optimal if you can only train for two hours per week. If you can train more, that's awesome. Consider the other variables, goals, time, the history of your training, and anything else you're doing out of the water to answer the question, how often should you swim? This was Whiteboard Wednesday. If you like these workouts, check out more in the description linked below. We'll catch you guys later. Happy swimming. Bye.